Ashante, good morning. Good morning. It's such a thrill to talk to you. Thank you for joining me this morning to talk about your new children's book. My name is my story. I read it, and uh, I can't believe how many children's lives it's going to touch over the decades. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. I really appreciate that. And the book is based on real life experiences of your own childhood, uh, most mostly concerning with your name, how unique it is. Do you have any, uh, you know, stories that can relate to us? Absolutely. I just remember being small and, you know, when it was time to sit in the circle and the teacher would call everyone's name, I would get the little giggles or I would get the stare or sometimes the teacher would stutter a little bit before she got to my name and just kind of reiterate, well, how do you pronounce, you know, just to be sure. And I just remember feeling like, well, my name is just so different than everyone else's, you know what I mean? And the concept and the reason that I wanted to do this is because I wanted to instill in kids that have unique names and different names to be proud of that and to embrace that and be okay and not feel, you know, embarrassed or timid or shy away from it, but more so to just embrace it and be powerful. You know, um, I just remember that feeling and I've, I've seen the effect that it has on children as well. You know, I used to work at a daycare center when I was younger, so I saw that. So, I, you know, I thought it was something really cool to do. And how often in your life has someone asked you, what does your name mean or the origin of your name? It has to be a lot. So many. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. And I remember being in first grade, um, my first grade teacher, her name was Mrs. Kutcher. And she's the one that actually told me to do a little like research on my name. And um, I did my research and obviously along with my mom explaining to me, but my name originates from Ghana and it means woman of strength. And what's really cool is, you know how sometimes when you go outside of the country, you know, in foreign countries, women are kind of considered a little bit lower on the totem pole. But in this specific tribe of people, the Ashanti people, the women kind of run things, you know? So when I found that out, I'm like, yes, you know? <laughs> also, you know, I think every person at one point in their life looks up what their name means. You know, mine, Jeffrey, it means of the angels. So I think not only is this going to spark a lot of, children to find out, you know, I always went to my mom, I go, why'd you name me Jeffrey? You know, well, you, your dad wanted Kent and I wanted Jeffrey and I won, you know, so <laughs> I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to spark a lot of family discussions, you know, also, which is great because I'm really big on family history and genealogy. Absolutely. I love that. I love that that angle and that aspect and just being able to bring conversation, you know, with the family and your kids. And again, I, that's such an amazing point that you bring up. It is going to uh, allow people, allow kids to kind of be more intrigued. Like, well, what does my name mean? And why did you name me that? And where does it come from? And I love that, you know? And tell us about the beautiful illustrations of this, the, the background of the, of the drawings, because they're just, they're so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just wanted it to feel welcoming. I wanted it to feel free and like open and just happy, you know, again, because the message is really powerful. You know, it's about just being um, happy and, 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 and being um, powerful and being confident, you know, and I wanted all of those things to kind of marinate and become one concept. And you recently got your uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know, I have to visit your star next time I'm in Hollywood because that's one of my favorite things to find my favorite star. So I'll make you a promise. I'm going to be on the lookout for your star. <laughs> yes. And you know what? Take a picture and I'll post it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. And also, I'm a Las Vegas native. We need a residency. Why don't you? We got plenty of spaces here. Why don't you come and do a residency <laughs> in Vegas? You know what's so funny? Um, I, we've been talking about it. Um, you know, my, my people, um, they have definitely been in conversations with some really cool people out in Vegas. So it may be coming a little sooner than you think. That would be wonderful, Shante. And finally, uh, I can't remember if we met before or not, but one of my proudest moments is I did the Resident Evil uh, Extinction Junket. And if you oh. have the and if you have the DVD, I'm quoted on the cover. So if you look on the bottom of the DVD, that is my quote. It's one of my badges of honor wow. in my career. That is amazing. Because, you know, we did the premiere. I think the premiere was in Vegas. We did something in, in, in Vegas with Resident Evil. So that's so cool. I can't remember. Did you do the junket? Did you do the interviews for that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, somewhere in my storage is our interview. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be in there. It was a long time ago. <laughs> This has been such a thrill. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, let's talk again soon. We'll see you in Vegas soon, okay? Thank you so much.